Today's video is an old one, Ken's Green Drake. I've been tying and fishing this fly since the early 90s, and we did the shooting of the video um, somewhere in 2003. Next fly we're going to tie is uh, Ken's Drake. It's a pattern that I came up with a few years back during the Green Drake catch. That's one hatch on in the entire upper Delaware that can sometimes confuse anglers and it's a hatch where the fish sometimes are very very fussy sometimes they'll eat them sometimes they don't so a good um, pattern needs to be able to give the impression that it's partly crippled or you know it's struggling in the surface film rather than the fact that it's ready to take flight and this pattern captures you know that particular stage where it's totally vulnerable this pattern will usually fish very early in the emergence and then um, later we'll switch over to our coffin fly as darkness is coming on and the, f the spinners start to mix in with the hatch. We're tying this very very large on a size 8 hook, it's a size 8 long, yellow 8 unithread for this pattern. I'm going to tie in towards the rear, get a little thread base down, spool dantron, dark brown, I'm going to cut a nice piece of this off, we're also going to be using olive green antron, and we're going to cut a decent sized piece of that off. I mix the fibers together and I flatten them out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just divide it in half and break off an equal portion of each one. Once I break that equal portion off, I'm going to cut it. And there's an equal portion of each one. We're going to tie that in, spread it around, measure it to length, and tie that mixed portion in. For a shuck. Clear the excess off. We're going to use some moose hair. And this is off of probably the back of the moose. And we're going to just grab off three decent fibers. And we're going to tie them a little bit long. And we're going to place those just over the top. We're going to wind those right to the back and they should flare a little bit as they did right there and they'll sit right up on top of there we're going to dub a nice slender body with some creamy dubbing we're going to really just put a small amount on the hook and a little bit of that yellow from the thread is going to bleed through. Make a nice slender body. When we get just forward of the halfway point, we're going to build up a little bit of a thorax. I'm just going to wind over there, and there's our thorax. A little bit of a thoracic bump, and what that's going to do is it's going to help to keep our wing material popped up. When we cut the antron earlier, we had a piece left over that was already mixed. And we're going to cut another piece right off of that. Discard it. And now we have another mixture of the green and the brown. We're going to put that right, measure it in, and we want it to be about half of the hook length. We're going to tie that right in, give it a little pinch wrap. We're going to wind that right back to the bump we made, and that should make it stand straight up, which it did. We're just going to mix that up. And what that's going to do 
is when that sits down on the water, that's going to let the light refract through there and give that look of venation that the green drake wings have. What we're going to choose for winging material is snowshoe rabbit. And snowshoe rabbit is naturally buoyant, sits real well right in the surface film, picks up a big, you know, droplet of water when you're fishing it, and it just gives that impression of an insect that cannot get itself up off of the water. We're going to take a good amount, and we're going to take it just forward of the rear of the, the heel of the foot. I'm going to pinch that up out of there. Cut that right off at the base. Clean out any little excess hair that we don't want. Take a good look at the way that that looks. Pinch that right in there. Give it a couple of quick pinch wraps. And we'll take a look at it. That looks pretty good. I'm liking the way that that looks, how it flares up like that. And we'll get down in here. Wrap it forward a little. Leave a little bit of that as a head base. And then we'll clean the rest of that fur out of there. And we'll cinch that down real nice. We'll come back in and get some more of our, more of our um, cream dubbing. Dub a nice tapered head right onto there. That'll finish this fly off. whip finish that's Ken's Drake this guy he's in a tough spot I'm gonna move down here and try to take a few of these fish when they get a little bit more regular fish on oh did you? Yeah, I saw it through the I camera. missed him. I saw it through the camera. He ate it. I knew that.